Well, we begin with the emergence of Goswe Babio and to the Jinnah Bas, there is the leaders of the Senate and House of Representatives, respectively. Babio defeated his only rival, Abraziz Yari, by 63 to 45 votes, while a senator elect abstained, and Abbas garnered 352 votes to edge out his two rivals, who put three votes as pits. Speaking after his emergence, Ababio said the Senate under his watch would focus on key priority areas, which include oversight, infrastructure, economy, security, and good working relationship with the executive. The new Speaker of the House of Representatives, Abbas, has promised that the third House under his leadership would champion legislations to diversify the economy, promote entrepreneurship, tackle insecurity and create employment opportunities for years. With the emergence of Apobio and Abaru, the new badges is expected to shift to the composition of the principal offices of the Senate. Well, I have uh, a gentleman in the studio joining me to discuss this. this is Joe Ibukwe, a politician. Welcome to the show, sir. Thanks for having me. All right, uh, let's get on with the questions. How would you describe the race for the leadership of the third national assembly well you know we had a history mm. in 215 after the elections in 215 election the apc won we didn't bother to play the politics of the national assembly and it cost us almost four years because we all went to sleep and a member, a senator elect, went and connived with the opposition that we just defeated after 16 years and brought them in. And we suffered for that four years, 2015 to 2019. The president was almost, you know, a whole hostage was frustrated. They used they used they used the opposition to whittle down what the government Lord government would have achieved. Mm. This time we said no. We started screaming from the one. And we said the president must not go to bed. And we all saw the politics. We saw the movements. We saw the consultations. We saw all the dialogues, meetings upon meetings, midnight meetings. Because you don't go to bed when the leadership of the National Assembly is being, you know, formed. And we had the result. Look at the margin. Mm. If anybody had told me that Yari will get 44, 43 votes, I wouldn't have believed it. 44. 66, 44. I, I couldn't have it. What if we did not put those gravitas? What if we, not, we did not move as fast as possible? What if we did not go to build the bridges and get and consult heavily? We would have seen something else. But thank God, Hachuwaju is in the saddle. You don't go to sleep when the enemy is at the door. Okay. So we salute the courage of our leaders for standing up to make sure that what happened, the tragedy that we saw in 215 did not manifest again. That is the work of men. The men went to work, and where we are today. We thank God for that. All right, uh, Mr. Ibukwe, you will agree with me that the country is going through a lot of issues, but what would you say the new leadership of the National Assembly, what is this first thing they should start up with? Well, the National Assembly is to make laws. Laws that will make, the, that's their function, laws that will make the system to work. A kind of police, policing the system. Make sure that Money goes where you should go to. You know, because they came from constituencies. 109 senators who want something to happen, their constituency. 
the same thing at three, is it not 369 or 359? House of Assembly members, they want to have projects in their area. So that's the work. That's the work. So he needs that cooperation to be able to. He didn't know what happened when Buhari was there. 2015 to 2019 was, a, was, was almost war. They couldn't pass. You, you push a budget to be passed, they would drop the plane with it. So then demanding money. So then demanding something else just to frustrate the president so that he will not perform. It's one of the strategies to, if you are not careful, they will deny you your second term. And they tried it. But it did not work. Because light and darkness have no meeting point. So, so we also saw a lot of people who indicated interest to run for this race. Mm -hmm. But do you at any point feel that this would have um, divided the house? If you didn't go to work? Yeah. Yes. A lot of things went to ground that you, on the ground that you may not see. Mm. A lot of the nights became afternoon. You don't go to sleep. You have to do that. Is the real politics? Politics of getting your man you can trust to be in the saddle. Otherwise, your four years will be circumvented and decimated. That is, we call it horse trading, political horse trading. Consultations, meeting the right people, making the right connections, getting the right people to come, to work with. It is important that you do that. Otherwise, you'll just be floating. There are so many corruption engineers, we call them corruption engineers in the system. They don't do anything, they don't have a job, is to find a way to create a loophole to steal from the system. Somebody is talking about it. There are so many things in the system that actually we need to change. And that's why he, need, he needs this man, this National Assembly leadership, to be able to, to break the vicious circle of the can canker worm, canker worms and caterpillars that have been eating the, the, the nation. You know, dry. So, you, do you agree the house is in order after? Of course. Uh, didn't you see? Are you going to shake the hands of the of the winner? It was the a close contest. Mm. I never believed that that Yari would get up to twenty votes. I told you. When I saw 43, 44, I screamed. What if we did not go to work? What if we went into the national assembly leadership elections just like that? Ah, you think would have gone to the opposition? But thank God, Ajuaju understands the game very well. We know him. We saw the movements, we saw the consultations, and we are, we, we are satisfied that something is going to work out. It's going to work out. So, work with the master, and you get what you want. I agree with you, uh, Mr. Joey Bukwe. We all are anticipating more from the new leadership of uh, Bola Tinubu as well, the National Assembly. Uh, thank you so much for your contribution so far.